Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a little model train video. I bought something from trains.com through eBay and I'm super excited for this specific locomotive that we're going to be unboxing today. So let's go ahead and just get it cracked open. And there it is, upside down, and there it is, right side up, and I already love it. <laughs> I haven't even taken it out of its packaging, and I already love it. Um, as you may be able to tell, this is the, well, it's Cato brand. It is a GS4 Southern Pacific Daylight Locomotive, and the reason I want to... The reason I got this is because I have a bunch of uh, daylight coaches um, that would go super well with this locomotive, and I'm super excited to finally have a full passenger train on my layout. So, yeah, let's just let's get it out of the packaging. I don't know how to. I, uh, I don't know where to grab it. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous right there. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't know where to even grab it. I'm afraid I'm going to break something. I'm going to try something from the front, maybe? I, I don't know where to grab it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Um, try it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That works. That works. Okay. Um, it looks like we get some accessories. If it'll focus. Yeah. Look at that in a second. Looks like just an extra coupler. And maybe... An extra... Pilot for the front. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I think I got it. Let me get this piece of plastic off of it, actually. I do not feel like I should be allowed to even be touching this. But look how amazing that is. Here's the front. Looks amazing. Full focus. You can see daylight right there. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Oh man. Those hubs are amazing. And this is N scale. Just re remember that. This is N scale. And this locomotive, it's a pretty big locomotive, but still, end scale, guys, end scale. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it, I'm going to set it down on the track, and then we'll kind of look more at the details from there. But yeah, this is super exciting. It's even, it's even too big for my re-railer. Man, this is the probably the biggest locomotive I have. It, I I think it is. Well, if you don't count the tender, it's probably still smaller than um my other Santa Fe locomotive, but still pretty big locomotive. And I think I'm just gonna do a little handheld for this part. Um, I, so excuse me if it's a little bit shaky. I flipped it around so that the camera's now towards the floor. Um, see if it'll focus on it at all. Ah, shadow's getting in the way, but this is absolutely amazing. 
that I have this. Oh, the running number is 4453. Not that anyone would care. I mean, I don't care. I just want this locomotive. It's so cool. It won't focus. Okay, I flipped the camera around. Ah. Okay, there we go. I think... But look at all those details. I don't know. Oh. This might be able to do smoke, but I don't know. I'll have to look in there more, but... Yeah, I haven't ever played around with any sort of smoke system. Anyway, this is an absolutely gorgeous locomotive. I wonder if the rear light works. We'll have to see when I plug in the controller. And then I might I might end up having to replace the coupler, because I don't know if that's going to be compatible with my coaches. But that's basically... All there is to see on this locomotive, it, it's just absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 I just found out something. You can take off the roof and look at the inside. Look at that cab detail. Oh my gosh. It won't even focus. It's too small. I think I'll just take a picture of the cab detail later and have you guys see it. But, yeah, that's it. Got some nice seats. And that's... Yeah, no. My shadow's gonna get in the way. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Let's put this back on. Yeah. I think it might stay on via a nag uh, magnet, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. All right, let's get it running. Okay, let's get the controller plugged in and we'll see how it runs. I think it was this controller. No, it's this one. I lied to myself. Let's see if it's this one. Okay. Should go forward. Oh, there it goes. Got stuck a little bit. Wow. That's amazing. It looks like it does a pretty good crawl. Pretty good slow speed. I don't know if this needs to be run in or not. Um, it said it was used. Oh, that's kind of jerky. It said it was used, so I'm assuming it's already run in or something. But, yeah, I don't know. I might just have it run in anyways. Just to make sure all that lubrication is distributed evenly throughout the whole system. But anyway, yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, I am going to leave it to run. I'll pause the recording and then we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so, for no particular reason at all, uh, while I was off camera, I decided to open up the tender of the locomotive, and I found out that the tender pickups, the electrical system for the tender pickups wasn't set up right. So, I decided to go ahead and fix that, and then I also checked to see if the coupler would be compatible with my 3D printed couplers, and it looks like we'll be able to get away with it. I was afraid I was going to have to replace the back coupler there, but we should be good to go. Anyway, 
so I did end up finishing uh, running it in both directions. So I think what the problem was wasn't because it was sitting around and it wasn't run in. It was because the tender pickups weren't set up properly. So it was having some trouble with electrical consistency. So anyway, now that we've solved that problem, let's check the crawling speed again and see if it's any better. I'm going to start turning up the controller and see when it kicks in. We're at 10% now. You can hear it humming. And it starts to move right in between 10 and 15, so maybe 12 or 13. And it is a little bit shaky, but that is a lot slower, I believe. Let's see if it'll go even slower. Yeah, it's still really shaky, but it is going slower. And that's like maybe 11 or 12 percent. So yeah, it is moving. It might not look like it's moving on camera, but it is moving just very, very slowly, which is actually really, really good. I don't know why it's good, but if you can have a train that can go this slow, then you can get a lot more realistic operating speeds, especially when you're starting up or slowing down, anything like that. Yeah, and then I also noticed, I think this locomotive does have a flywheel, because I haven't opened it up to actually see, but... I did notice that it slowed down when I, so when I ran it at fast speeds and then suddenly cut off the power, it would slow down seamlessly, if that makes sense. I didn't really have to control the speed to make it look like it was slowing down. So yes, I do think there's a flywheel in this one. And then I also have another Kato locomotive that has a flywheel in it. So I do believe since this is another Kato locomotive, it has a flywheel in it. And then I do have a Southern Pacific Daylight passenger train all set up on the track here. I don't know if this is actually how a passenger train would be set up with the order of the cars or whatever. So I just kind of made something up i put them together randomly um but i specifically i did put them up kind of randomly i do know that the observation car is supposed to be in the back and then i see a lot of trains have the baggage card more towards the front here i'm gonna go down here but this is basically all what they look like they're not terribly detailed uh these are a bit older but they should still look pretty awesome with my new locomotive here alrighty I think we should just get the locomotive coupled to the passenger train now I so even though the hold on I'm gonna see if I fit in here okay even though the 3D printed couplers on these cars uh, were compatible with that coupler. I did kind of have to push them together, so it might not be totally automatic. But anyway, we're going to back up now and we'll just see how it goes right here. Oh, she has stopped. Okay. Oh, no. She's good. Okay. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to push it together. Here, yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Get them kind of... There you go. Alright, and let's send her away.